The United Nations estimates that there are three million shipwrecks along the ocean floor. Among those shipwrecks, we can find famous ones like the RMS Titanic, HMHS Britannica, and the RMS Republic. Let's explore their history and how they ended up at the bottom of the ocean. Number 1. RMS Republic RMS Republic was a steam-powered ocean liner built in 1903 by Harland Wolf in Belfast. She was launched on the 26th of February 1903 and made her maiden voyage in October 1903 from Liverpool to Boston. She departed in late January 1909 and was headed to the Mediterranean ports despite being caught up in very dense fog. She held her own throughout the night, but in the morning hours of the next day, she collided with the SS Florida. The furious slam that the RMS Republic took from the SS Florida was fierce and demolished the engine room, which ceased all power to the liner. Unbelievably, most passengers and crew were rescued, but three lives were lost from each ship. The SS Florida was salvageable, but the RMS Republic sank deep to the ocean floor. This ship was the most technologically advanced of that time and was considered unsinkable. While the lives were spared during this catastrophe, none of the cargo was as fortunate. Everything was lost to the sea and there was no way to retrieve it. Viable rumors quickly spread and are still present to this day about the lost treasures that were on board. The story has it that the U.S. Navy payroll was on board that ship in the sum of some $265,000, today worth millions that were headed to Italian earthquake survivors, $100,000 silver ingots, as well as all of the passengers' jewels, were also tossed to the bottom of the sea that morning. The biggest secret was that there was about $3 million worth of gold aboard that ship and five tons of mint American gold eagle coins that belonged to the Tsar of Russia. Number 2. MV Wilhelm Goslov launched in the presence of Adolf Hitler in 1937. The MV Wilhelm Goslov was a German ocean liner named after the leader of the Swiss Nazi party. The ocean liner carried holidaymakers on cruises of the North Atlantic and the Mediterranean, and with the outbreak of World War II in 1939, it was converted into a hospital ship. It later served as a floating barracks and in the closing months of the war was called upon to evacuate German troops and civilians from East Prussia ahead of advancing Soviet armies. By that time, following the laws of war, the Wilhelm Gustloff had shed the white paint and red crosses that had marked it as non-combatant and the presence of troops on board and anti-aircraft guns on deck made the ship a viable military target. Built to accommodate 1,900 people, the ship left port on January 30, 1945, carrying an estimated 10,000. Just after 9 p.m. that evening, three torpedoes fired by a Soviet submarine slammed into the port side of the Guslov. Ice had rendered many of the ship's lifeboat inoperable, and the crew members best trained to deal with an evacuation had been killed in the torpedo attack or were trapped below deck. The Guslov slipped below the frigid Baltic waves just over an hour later. Although rescue efforts began within minutes of the ship's initial SOS call, only 1,200 people could be saved. The sinking claimed 9,000 lives, making it history's deadliest shipwreck. Number 3. USS Arizona Arizona was built at the Naval Yard in Brooklyn, New York in 1914-15. to It boasted a dozen 14-inch guns and 22 5-inch guns. In addition, Arizona was the largest ship in the Navy's fleet with a length of 608 feet and a displacement of 31,400 tons, the ship served many purposes, from escorting President Woodrow Wilson to the Paris Peace Conference to being sent to Turkey during the Greco-Turkish War. Faced with the United States' possible entrance into World War II, naval officials ordered the Arizona to undergo additional improvements in 1940-41. Rear Admiral Isaac Kidd subsequently took command of the battleship, on December 6, 1941, the Arizona returned to its base at Pearl Harbor. The next morning, Japan launched a surprise attack on the naval base. For nearly two hours, more than 350 Japanese aircraft, which included torpedo planes, bombers, and fighters, dropped bombs on U.S. vessels. The Arizona was struck by a 1,760-pound projectile. The impact caused munitions and fuels to ignite, creating a massive explosion that reportedly lifted the battleship out of the water. As it sank, the ship was struck by more bombs. In addition, 
Some claim that the Arizona was also hit by torpedoes, though no evidence was found to support that assertion. While 334 crew members survive, the death toll on the Arizona was 1,177. The shipwreck was declared a National Historic Landmark on May 5, 1989. Today, the shipwreck remains and can be viewed at the USS Arizona Memorial and is annually visited by 2 million people. Number 4. RMS Titanic RMS Titanic, the most famous ship for never making her destination, was the largest cruise ship of its time. The Titanic was built in Ireland at the Harlan and Wolf shipyard. It was considered to be the most developed ship of that era. In addition to ornate decorations, the Titanic featured an immense first-class dining saloon, four elevators, and a swimming pool. The second-class accommodations were comparable to first-class features on other ships, and its third-class offerings, although modest, were still noted for the relative comfort. As to safety elements, the Titanic had 16 compartments that included doors that could be closed from the bridge so that water could be contained in the event the hole was breached. Although they were presumed to be watertight, the bulkheads were not capped at the top. The ship's builders claimed that four of the compartments could be flooded without endangering the liner's buoyancy. The system led many to claim that the Titanic was unsinkable. On April 10, 1912, the Titanic set sail on its maiden voyage. Traveling from Southampton, England to New York City, nicknamed the Millionaire Special, the ship was fittingly captained by Edward J. Smith, who was known as the Millionaire's Captain because of his popularity with wealthy passengers. On board were some 2,200 people, approximately 1,300 of whom were passengers. Around 1,517 people lost their lives in one of the biggest marine tragedies in history. After many unsuccessful expeditions, the wreck was finally located by a joint French-American expedition in 1985. Several artifacts have been removed from the shipwreck and they are displayed in the National Maritime Museum in England. Many schemes were proposed to raise the ship, but the fragile condition of the vessel prevented such plans. The wreck of the RMS Titanic is now protected by the UNESCO Convention. Number 5. Britannica In full His Majesty's Hospital Ship Britannica, British liner that was a sister ship of the Olympic and the Titanic. In the wake of the Titanic disaster on April 14, 1912, the White Star Line made several modifications in the construction of its already planned sister ship. First, the name was changed from Gigantic to Britannica, and the design of the hull was altered to make it less vulnerable to icebergs. In addition, it was mandated that there be enough lifeboats on board to accommodate all passengers, which had not been the case with the Titanic. The nearly 50,000-ton luxury vessel, the largest in the world, was launched in 1914, but was requisitioned soon afterward by the British government to serve as a hospital ship during World War I. In this capacity, Captain Charlie Bartlett led the Britannica on five successful voyages bringing wounded British troops back to England from various ports around the world. On the morning of November 21, 1916, she was shaken by an explosion caused by a naval mine on the Imperial German Navy near the Greek island of Kia and sank 55 minutes later, killing 30 people. There were 1,065 people on board. The 1,035 survivors were rescued from the water in lifeboats. Britannica was the largest ship lost in the First World War. In 1975, French Ocean explorer Jacques Cousteau discovered the wreckage of the Britannica. The ship was found laying on its starboard side at a depth of some 390 feet. It was intact except for a large hole in its bow. Shipwrecks are important discoveries that tell us stories of the past, helping us connect the dots in our history. Those are the testimonies to the trade and culture exchanges of our predecessors. Over countless centuries, there have been many ships that have fallen prey to accidents as well as caused by human interference. Many enthusiastic travelers, brave warriors, and merchants have found their final resting place on the bottom of oceans, rivers, and lakes across the world. If you enjoyed this video, consider subscribing to find out more interesting topics. And as always, thanks for watching.